Hello, welcome back. Everybody is poisoned. <laughs> Except one person doesn't take damage from it. Apparently that's another effect of having resist poison 100. That I didn't realize until I watched this back. Am I in an elevator? I am. Where is this? Okay, apparently this is this is where I parked myself. Uh, okay, right, so, so where am I exactly? Where do I want to be? <laughs> Uh, so I opened up a whole lot of new ways to go, and they're all very confusing. This is where I want to go eventually, but I'm not quite ready yet. I have some business elsewhere first. Uh, let's take this elevator up, I guess? Yeah, again, I don't know my way around here as well anymore because of... Interesting. Uh, because of... everything's different. If I go up, that's not where I want to be. I want... I want to go... So I want to be... Well, where? Under Temple. I want to be in Under Temple right here. Because I think I know the answer to this riddle now. So what is a way to get there? I can't go through here. So if I go back here, I can take... Uh, this is this spot, so I could take the Wind Gate around, I guess? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is still going to take some learning. And this guy is still shooting at me. How annoying. So I'm here. Is this open? Uh, I think it is. Yes. And I'm being shot at constantly. <laughs> okay, this is reasonable. Hey, you have that in your hand. Right, you were making poison potions. Those actually turned out to be useful for something. So anyway, yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody basically told me how the mummy puzzle works, which is... Um... Which is kind of semi-nonsense. Um, I'm okay with having the knowledge because it's so obscure. I would be okay with this sort of thing if it were discoverable. So it turns out what it is, is... Okay, let me see if I can actually try it here. So doing this throws the rock up there. Doing this looks like it throws it from the same height, but I can tell someone to throw it... Even if I'm up against a wall, let's see, how's this going to be? Okay, so if you're against a wall, yeah, I can throw a rock into a wall like that. So apparently, just because of the way collisions work and stuff, uh, if this is partially open, this rock will actually make it through, if I uh, actually can attempt to throw it like this. Hey, look at that. That totally works. <laughs> yeah, like, if there were anything... Well, I mean, how would you set up anything? Hey, look at all those. I should drink those. How would you set up anything? Oh, hi. That's strange. Huh. Um, yeah, I don't know how anything could be set up to allow uh, for that mechanic to be discovered short of, like, an actual setup like this. So, I don't know. Just if you have this bit of obscure knowledge, that shouldn't be too uh, too hard to figure out. But I didn't have that bit of obscure knowledge. Okay, so full crystal set. Uh, full crystal set? Full crystal set. Okay, it glows and looked like a significant health bonus. So 354, 434, that is huge. Uh, protection plus 15, plus his armor skill. Looks like I basically just get a health bonus, which is nice. Protection, okay, cool. Ilior Foulheart, the self-crowned king of Conwyn. I don't believe I've ever read that before. <laughs> nice. Sounds very comfortable. Okay, cool. Uh, so I have the full set. I had some thought that I wanted to give it to Harak instead of Beffen. Why would that be? I don't know. I mean, I don't... Oh, yeah, because he has some concentration. Oh, I noticed also that people are actually, shockingly, getting kind of close to level ups. So maybe I should have been wearing the Spirit Mirror Pendant. Because I think I might actually get to... Oh, hi. When did this open? When I pressed that button in there? Hall of Legends? Better save. Oh, Ancient Claymore. Okay. Oh, I get another set of armor. Okay, well, that, that's the one that's for you, probably. Oh, is this where I put all my epic items? <laughs> and they do stuff? Well, this isn't an epic item. It doesn't have the gold name. 
Okay, so it looks like you are getting an upgrade right now. So resist fire. Your resist fire is pretty good because you're so strong. But I will appreciate the extra protection for sure. How's the weight compare? 8.5, 5.0, much lighter. Nice. I wonder if I... I doubt I have all this stuff on me. Silver Scepter of Isochronos. Okay, I need to go get that. I have it. The ultimate power. Oh. Axe. Okay, I can get that. Assassin's Dagger. I can get... I think I have one of those. In fact, are you using it? Yes. Okay. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I need Axe, Silver Scepter of Isochronos. Let me just write these. Where was it? Here? And then a couple of more things. Bane. Got that one. I've done pretty well with collecting most of the things, it seems. This will be an interesting test to see what I have and haven't found. And I have found all these things. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, right. Two more pieces of armor. Two more pieces of equipment I have to bring to get those. Awesome. Uh, Windgate is what I want. It's here. So, let me just dump... These, because I'm not going to use them anymore. These, because I'm not going to use them anymore. I should have done that earlier. Uh, this goes in my special spot for these potions, in case they have another use, somehow. Oh, I know where my other one of those went. Oh, hang on, is this one? It is. I had another one there. I could have uh, avoided brewing one of those. That's okay. I don't need that many mudworts. Oh, yeah, here's how I've organized my armors and stuff. I have that. I have this. I have that. This is all, like, the old worthless stuff, so I don't really need to pick through these ever, basically. Um, and I still have plenty still on the floor under this stuff. <laughs> Those are poking up through the box. Okay, and I don't need any of the Valor equipment. I mean, it's it's good, in theory. I'll, I'll put it in a place where I can get it back in case, like, it's a key for a future puzzle like that one I was looking at. I'm going to take off these in the anticipation of getting both of them. So I just need Silver Scepter. I'm going to take with the, this with me. You're not wearing a... How'd this happen? Okay, so let's assume that everyone will level up, which means you need this to balance it all out. And I can brew some um, potions of wisdom if I want to. Okay, that looks like an axe. Uh, it looked like an axe. Where did it go? Uh, things pushed around. You, right there. You, right... You, right, right here. No, that's a great axe. I need a less great axe with fewer letters in it. Um, is it in this pile? There's the silver scepter. There's the scythe. That's nice. I'm going to keep that out. But I'm not going to replace Bane with it. Okay, fine. You go away. So I got that. Ring mail. That's garbage. Go away. Pearl shield. Don't really care. Saber. Yeah, whatever. None of these are axes. It didn't ask for the mall. What's that? Mirror gauntlets. So it's in this pile somewhere then? Great axe, warhammer, bone blade, axe. Found it. Okay. That's not a gold name item. That's not a gold name item. Okay. Uh, well, this should increase my uh, statistics for sure. Still don't know what this means. So 13 out of 17 epic items. Was this all I needed? This and that? I think so. Uh, was that all I needed to drop off? Would I use this ever? Hey, that's better. That's more resistances. Will that break my set bonus, I wonder? Assuming there is one? I guess I'm gonna find out. Crystal amulet, yep, just keep it keep it with you. Uh, should figure out who drinks these. I mean, you drink those, always. You drink these, always. Uh, and I guess you get this one, and you get this one. Sure, sounds good. Probably should have considered willpower to Harak, but I didn't. Doesn't matter. So 
So Silver Scepter goes here. Helmet goes here. Axe goes here. Okay, cool. Uh, so you get that. It does break the set bonus if I don't have the shield. Is it more resistance? So you're at 100, of course. 82. Yes, it is more fire resistance. Is it more anything else resistance? 52, 38, 40. No. Hmm. So that alone... Well, no, but now you have 92 already. I was going to say that alone might be a reason to swap these two armor sets between these two, but... I don't think that makes sense. Okay, well, anyway, I have some good armor here. Um, the protection is probably worth it on its own. Wow, look at that health disparity. How did this happen? What's wrong with your health? That's what's happening. Okay, I'm going to do this to balance it a bit better. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit better. Okay, cool. Uh, so where am I? I uh, I'm here. I'm going to save. Oh, you want me to put those all there at once. Okay. That's my guess, at least. Kind of a weird thing to ask, but I guess that's fine. Assuming that is what it's asking. Yes. What's this? Wizard's Verge. Oh, cool. Energy plus 50. Disintegrate. Whoa, wait, what? This is the Island Master weapon. Disintegrate just gives me, like, instant kill if I want it. I'm not sure if it gives me experience, but I do remember playing around with this back when I had, uh... Stuff. Um, back when I completed the Isle of Nex. Huh. Okay, well, I have that now. It doesn't have charges. Energy 80. Yeah, so anything there just dies. Let me test on a mummy to see if I do get, get experience. I don't think it shows damage numbers. I think it just instantly destroys whatever is there, right? That's a pretty powerful tool to be giving me. <laughs> uh, so how is my statistics now, I wonder? Those have gone up significantly. There's one more to find. S many more secrets yet. One more treasure, whatever that is. I suspect those are buried. Okay. So, um... It's starting to rain outside, and I hope that's not coming through the microphone too much. Uh, right, so I did this. That's Oh yeah, mummy. I wanted to test this out. Just to see what happens. It uses a bunch of energy, sure, but I mean, 80's not that much. Uh, eh, what am I doing? No experience, just instant death. <laughs> no damage numbers. Okay. Well, I have a doom spell. I don't know if it works on everything. I kind of hope it doesn't. But even if it does, I mean, I can just restrain myself from using it. Like, I think that's that's a nice tool to have when I when I want it, but I don't always want it. That's not something I need to pay attention to on the map. Okay, so, uh, to get back to where I was going, seemed like around here was what made sense. Going to Caves of Despair. The back end of that place. Uh, yes, here. I wonder how many secrets I've missed in, like, other parts of the map that I haven't... Mysteries that are still remaining in places that I haven't visited in a long time. A cave full of mushrooms. Shows up on the map as if it's a place I can go, but no indication that I could ever find a way in there in any way. And I couldn't clearly see anything there, so I suspect that might just be ornamental. But it might not be. Uh, that might be the only thing. That might be the only thing. Oh, and this receptor in the laboratory. Yeah, okay. So those were like the two main things that I didn't know what to do with that seemed to be something. Okay, right. Anyway. Caves of Despair. 
Which means I need to take elevators, which means oh, I gotta deal with this guy, whatever. Can I turn you off somehow? Well, you're gonna hit me. Yeah, there was no dodging that. How annoying. You have so much accuracy that I think that... Oh, right, this. I think that almost doesn't even matter. Do you not have, like, a lever for you or something? I guess not. That's just obnoxious. How does that compare to your accuracy? It's almost as much. Harak has more. Okay, uh, save. Go down here. Ice elementals are here. Frost shield. There was one, like, right by that stairway before. I think he moved on to that spot. Oh, and uh, cold damage means I should do this. Make it fiery. Kaboom. Nice. Okay. I want you to wear that anytime you're not fighting something icy. Okay, so I guess... Right now, I'm basically just securing the area. Making sure I don't get nasty surprises when I need to go and investigate stuff. Ah. Did I put the spirit mirror on someone? I think I did. I put it on you. That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm really surprised that I might actually get another level up here. But it looked likely. Hey, a mine key. Cool. Okay. Uh, you're a... No, that's just a wall. I thought I saw a lever. Hmm. Okay, uh, so I'm here. There's a ladder. These can have buttons on them sometimes, and they're pretty hard to see, so I need to pay attention just in case. I'm going to leave those on until I get into uh, combat with something that's not icy. Okay. Okay. And then this overlooks the same arena as yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just one of you guys. Somehow I thought it was more. You're standing on a pressure plate. Hmm. Okay. Going to be fighting him eventually. Some food. Speaking of which, people are slightly hungry. Oh, it's rotten. Uh, I don't have a stone brother to feed something like that to, so you get it. Since you can eat it without negative consequences. Do you still have eggs to be eating? No. <laughs> that bag has one rope in it and nothing else. What an efficient use of a bag. Okay, so there's a ladder here, but this is closed. All right. I have a mine key. I didn't spot any keyholes. Maybe it's up here. That looks like a door that would have a keyhole next to it. Demonic inmate. Oh, okay. So, let's do fire shield preemptively. Sounds like the sort of thing that might be applicable. I see... What do I see? Okay, that was just my light dancing around. I thought I saw something moving there. Alright, so somebody's in here. I mean, that sounds like it might be describing the the big dude down in the pit. Hmm. Would this be luck pickable? No. Okay, so if you're there, then I do want this, as it turns out. And I do want this, probably. I have some pretty strong attacks here. And I mean, I, I, I have this if I want it, <laughs> but I don't want it currently. I'm just going to mostly refrain from using that. In fact, I'm not sure I'll ever use that in, in any real combat here. But it's a nice toy, at least. Alright, energy's a bit low. Health is fine, mostly. 
Oh, hey, two of those. Um, could consider force field, but I don't think it's necessary yet. And uh, now I do. I'd like you to get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're hurting a fair bit. Be careful. Also, energy quite low. All right, gonna have to fight with low energy unless I want to drink something. I'm opting not to. Squeak! Oh hey, you know what he can do when he doesn't have energy? This. And that's the correct sp school of magic for that. Because somehow that orb just does not cost any energy to use. Man, look at those crits. Those both did over 400 damage. Oh yeah, you got one on that Mimic that I one shot that was like 800 some? That was nuts. Danger, do not enter prisoner's pit without permission. Yeah, 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 that's the guy. That's the demon. Rocks. Oh, that was sneakily hidden inside there. <laughs> I'm glad I took that rock. Another pickaxe in case you want one of those. To join the six others I have over there. Okay. I don't have permission, so I won't enter, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I would love to fix this head injury before I go in there. It'd be nice to know what's up with this. I have two mine keys. Full inventory of stuff. I'm thinking I want to turn back. And, oh, hang on, what's this? Uh, yes, this way. Thinking I want to turn back, touch a crystal, come back here with full health and energy and stuff. Okay, yeah, so round key needed. That lines up with this, so maybe that's my way through. That's kind of a long way, though. No, that's just a wall there. Hmm, okay. Also round key needed. Okay. I hear the sound of a force field. I don't see that force field, though. I pulled this. That let me in there. Um... So knowing that the demonic inmate is down in a pit, I can probably explore a little bit closer to that without actually jumping down to fight him yet. So let me see if I can do that. Just because I don't want the annoyance of going all the way back again just yet. Not until I'm sure I need to. Okay. Okay, well that's my only option here. The dude is over there. Maybe I can see this if I send this sailing over his head? No. Boy, <laughs> darkness is so uh, so complete there, it just swallows up my fireball eventually. Alright, I see a green gem. Oh, I can see him from this angle. <laughs> just the fog takes over if I look at it differently. Alright, so I'm gonna jump in here, probably get injuries because that's at least a two drop. Yeah, it looks like a two drop. How annoying. I wish there were a safe way to do those, but as far as I know, no tool exists for that in this game. Suspicious wall? No, not suspicious. Has shelf. So just in case, I think that's suspicious later. The other one was very suspicious, though. Alright, run back. So on my way out and back, I noticed something. There's this pit up here that I encountered but decided not to interact with. I kind of forgot it had existed. It leads down into this area, which is gated off right now. So I think I'd rather go down there than jump into the demonic inmate's pit. I'll fight him eventually, but maybe not today. That sounds like kind of a... Again, I still think he might well be the final battle. <laughs> and I mean, I, I'm, giving, I'm given, like, post-game equipment here if I, if I want it. This, uh, this, this staff. Uh, so yeah, I'm very much getting the sense that I'm right at the end of this. A skull! Oh hey! It's been a while since I found one of those. Oh yeah, and I have this thing with the cloud of nightmares. Uh, you should probably be the one to carry it. Um, not that I ever ever use it. 
but it might be a cool toy someday for something, maybe. Lockpicks, nice. In case I ever need those again. Pit root bread, oh good, I just spent a red gem on food. Rotten pit root bread, okay, so that's gonna be for you after the cheese. Cheese first. Not getting any stat boosts for those things. I think it might be just past the time of those somehow. Uh, this is a suspicious ledge here. There's stuff on it. But as far as I could tell, it's fully walled off. So I don't know how I would get down to that. Unless, like, one of these walls opens and there's another pit I can jump down. That's possible. That's worth investigating, I think. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to go off here. That's solid. That's solid. All I see is, like, chests and barrels and stuff, but there could totally be something inside those or under them. So let's see if there's any way there might be an opening wall there. Was there a torch in that rubble? There was. Just in case I want one of those. <laughs> I already have so many. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, so there's like a big room over here. What room is this? Mining operations. This is the type of wall that could hypothetically open. Is there anything that would let me do that? I probably already checked this room for buttons and stuff. But let's do it again. Nothing happened. Okay. Hang on, what did this say? Work hard, sisters, for the riches that we mine are not for greedy mortals, but for the gods themselves. Go forth with their blessing. Right. Pretty sure I pulled some items off those shelves. If I had encountered an empty shelf, I would have marked it or interacted with it in some way to solve some kind of puzzle. Okay, maybe there's nothing. Maybe there's nothing. But that is a real spy. I see you. So hang on, what opened that pit then? Or maybe nothing did, maybe I need to just find something to close it. This didn't, right? No? Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, so that kind of tells me there's something to this theory here. Uh, I don't suppose you affected it? It's far enough away that I might not have heard it. It didn't. The riches we mine. Sounds like you're talking about, like, gems and stuff. Pickaxe. It's almost like if I put the right thing on that... on these shelves... it'll close that. I guess I'm just... that's a thing I could... well, no, but I'm... okay, so I should look back at my footage and see what I pulled off of those shelves. I assume I took something. Again, I would not have encountered an empty shelf without trying to interact with it in some way. Is there anything else in the area anywhere? Or maybe down here? Okay, there could totally be a button on some of the, that wooden stuff that I missed, because like I said, they can have buttons on them, and I'm not always good at spotting them. I'll check over here first, just in case. So none there, none there. I definitely don't recall ever having seen that trapdoor closed. I think it was always open. But there is clearly a button right there. And there is clearly, like... Very possibly something to do right there. This looks... Oh, hey! There's stuff over here, isn't there? Okay, so this is the safe way down. Hold on, let me check other walls, just in case. Nothing anywhere in here. This is just an elevator. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Okay. Uh, right, so this is the safe way down. Costs a bit of hunger, but that's fine. Well... I can see that there's a way down here, but there isn't one there. However, I happen to know that that has no mechanical significance. It's just, like, decorative, basically. So it doesn't look like you dropped out of a, a solid uh, closed ceiling. 
It made a, there was a trapdoor opening noise as soon as I climbed down here, which is interesting. So I certainly have no reason to close that. Oh, hi, I found you. Oh, it's not how I thought it was, it's different. Okay, but then what's up with the button there? Maybe going back and forth a few times will make it make sense. Yeah, so maybe there's another button there. Yeah, there's that hunger penalty coming in. Fine, you eat. Uh, no, you don't eat. Wait for a pie. Yeah, I see the button there. <laughs> okay. So the secret's like the other way around than I thought. And awesome, I got another one of those. I'm happy about that. Oh. Okay, again, not what I expected. So still the button. That hasn't solved the button mystery yet. This cost me so much, uh, so much food. I'm tempted to just drop and take the injuries and stuff, since those are free to fix, but, like, I don't know what I'm going to find down here, so I'm going to pay the food cost instead. Okay, cool. Those are always nice to have. There we go, it closed it. Okay, gotcha. So then, safe way down is this and this. Alright, press. Didn't open that, so there's nothing... Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Whoa! Many gems and things. The riches we mine are not for humans, but for the gods. Well... <laughs> none of us are human. <laughs> Got a ratling, a lizard man, a minotaur, and an insectoid. <laughs> so I guess I'm good to take them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Okay, cool. So, I got some bonuses. Oh, I should put those in the proper place. Nice. Alright, so next time, possibly finalish looking battle with Mr. Demonic Inmate. Uh, that does not... The Stone Brothers said, Priests are trying to drain our immortality. I feel like the priests might be those snake-haired ladies. Maybe... And the demonic inmate is something else, but also feels like I should perhaps... Is there like a weird little texture seam on the ceiling right here? I can't really get a good look at it, but I think that might be what I'm seeing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Middle of a sentence, that's what distracts me. <laughs> and I don't know what I was talking about. Right, priests. Feels like something to do with the, the stone faces will need to still be resolved past there. Uh, I can walk around with these, that's fine. I don't need to take them back. Yeah, so next time, uh, Demonic Inmate. Let's see what that's like. And, yeah, see how much more game there is. I, I'm definitely, again, getting the sense there's not much more, so next one might be final, possibly. Alright, I'll see you then.